If you've ever trained a pet, you know it can be a challenge. But there's one man out there who says it doesn't have to be, and he is quite the expert. Cesar Milan has trained thousands of pets and their owners to work together, and he's joining us today about a new TV series, Caesar 911. Good morning, Caesar. So tell us about your new show, hey guys, Caesar 911. You? you know, I'm excited. I'm always, you know, to have a job is always an exciting thing. But uh, to have a job that I can actually influence change, that I can actually help people's uh, dramatic uh, relationship with their dog is actually very, uh, it feels really good, you know. And, and so season 911, which is actually a TV show where the owners of a dog don't call me, it's the neighbors and the family members who call me. Just like a in a 911 call, right? It's, it's the neighbors, it's somebody else that calls you because you're in a bad situation. So we call in them the whistleblowers. So what happens when we come in, the owners of a dog don't know we're coming, so it makes it more challenging. Because it's more like an intervention, right? Right. It's like everybody comes and then the, the owners are like, why are you guys are here? Why is Caesar is here? Right? And so that, we, and the people say, listen, we want you to do something with your dog because the whole entire community is afraid. All the, all the family members said, you know, I, I can't come to your house because your dog, you know, growl at me, jumps at me, and I don't think you're doing anything about it. A lot of people think it's funny, you know. Right. There are a lot of owners of the dog, oh, he's just growling, he doesn't mean anything. But the people are afraid. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we actually come in and definitely make some changes in the behavior of people. I always love to say, you know, I train people to rehabilitate dogs. And so right. I, I teach people to see what is it that they do in wrong that the dog becomes this way it's easy to see a dog and say oh that's an aggressive dog but that dog wasn't born aggressive so where is this aggression came from right and that's what people are going to learn in season 911 where the dog how the dog became aggressive in the first place. That makes sense. So I have a question for you. I have a 22-month-old 22, 22 Boston Terrier, and I work kind of long hours, and sometimes she's home alone for long periods of time. And my question for you right. is, do dogs have a better quality of life if they do have another doggy companion? So should I get Lulu a little sister? Sometimes that's, they have to be the same species. You know, I know a lot of dogs that live with rabbits, with cats, birds, and they actually, uh, they have a very compatible relationship. So, but if you're going to get another dog, don't get the same energy, get a lower energy, so it balance it up. Okay. Otherwise, if you get two of the same, they're going <laughs> to go like party time. Yeah, and or you, if you know get Boston higher, Terriers are crazy. <laughs> Well, uh, everybody says that about the breed. You know, they say that about Scotch Terriers. They say it about German Shepherds. But in every breed, there is three levels of energy, low, medium, high. Just like in Texas, there is three levels of energy, low-level energy Texas guys, <laughs> medium, and high. So it's not, it's not the, 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 the race or the culture. It's that energy that they're born with. Same thing happens with dogs. Okay. And Lulu is completely potty trained, but when she gets mad at me sometimes, she'll like make eye contact with me and have it, it's not really an accident, but she'll go potty in the house and she does it to kind of get mad at me. How do I prevent that kind of behavior? Because she spite pees. She's well, well, that's, a, that's an interpretation, right? Okay. That's an interpretation from your part. Uh, it could be that the, the wee wee pad is, 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 is dirty. It could be that your time wasn't at the right time. And, they're, you know, they're, big, they're creature of habits. So they look for another place that is a, a little bit more clean. And people interpret as, oh, she's, she's going after me. She didn't yeah. like what I did. <laughs> but, uh, but what you can do is more like block those areas that you don't want her to have an accident. So that way you prevent unwanted behavior. Okay, that makes sense. So you're kind of known as the dog Yeah, my whisperer. way of thinking is more, excuse me? So I stepped on you, finish what you were saying? Huh? No, the way I think is a practical way of thinking. The way you're thinking is more like the dog is thinking. You know, and now the dog doesn't, you know, the dog is trying to teach me a lesson. Right. <laughs> it's, it's sweet, it's cute, but, but they don't rationalize. So they don't really try to venge the human. It's like, oh, the human worked too many hours today. I'm going to poop everywhere. <laughs> they don't, that's not what they do. <laughs> so maybe it's mom you that's know? a little crazy thinking that her dog has these thoughts. It's not my crazy dog. <laughs> Well, you remember, I, my, you know, I have a job because people think dogs are humans. You know, yes. dogs in our country are skinny. Dogs in America are nice and chunky, and I get to have a TV show. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, thank you so much for chatting with us. And I'm definitely going to put your tips to good use when I get home with Lulu. Thank you again, Caesar. And you guys can Bye, catch. Guys. Bye, Lulu. <laughs> Bye, Lulu. <laughs> thank you. you guys can catch the premiere tonight. And it starts at 8 o'clock. It's on the Nat Geo Wild channel. Just check your local listings for channel information. And when we come back, we are dishing about a new cooking competition show. And there's a local twist. Stay tuned.